Sahara in her new. That one's going to be for Marzarel, which is she's over there somewhere. And uh, I was going to give that to Sonia. I'm not sure. No, I don't. Think, I was going to give this one to Sonia because she's a fashion model. But uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think it suits Sonia better. It doesn't really suit. I thought it was going to go look nice on her, but I'm not sure now. It's her colour scheme, but it's uh, now it's on. Doesn't sort of really go with her. Doesn't sort of look right on her for some reason. No. <laughs> See, when I just um, hold it against her, it sort of looked okay, but Marlise in her new dress, her new outfit. Well, I've had it a while, but I've just given it to her now. Well, I gave it to her the other day, actually, but I mean, I'm just filming it now for the first time. I'm all over the place because I'm so sad about my little friend being taken away. I hope she's all right. Ah. There we go. She looks nice against the pink background. Right, I'm trying to try and show you this little haul that I got. Yes, these are from the Independent Health Food Store. Uh, sour cream and chives, creamy dill, kale, tomato and spinach. I know I've got those before. Is these from Wake No, that, no that's from the Independent Health Food Store. Well, yes, I ran out of space on the memory card. I had to delete some. These stickers were free from the entertainer. I've got these two sesame things from the Independent Health Food Store. That tea, sort of the nettle tea from Wake Crows. This from Wake Crows. The uh, Madeleines from Wake Crows. They're on special offer at the moment. I also got these from Wake Crows. I've not tried these actual ones before. It's a uh, seed, cashew and blueberry nut mix. I got sauerkraut from Wake Crows. I've never tried sauerkraut before. Oh, yeah, that's a terrible admission, I know. It's meant to be good for you. Um, I've already showed you that little night. Um, are these were two for a pound, the Angelie Harriet Couscous from Waitrose. So that's a good value, only 50 pence each. I like couscous, I've had this before. Oh, look, proof that I'm using my little silver camera that I dropped in the sea and then brought back to life after it died and everyone was, you know, the experts in the shops were saying there's no way on earth that's ever going to come back to life. Well, I did it. So because the, there's the blue camera that I have been using, and can you see the reflection of my little silver camera that I'm using to film? And there's my camcorder, and there's my nice one of my nice hard drives. This nice bag I got from a, a little independent shop. That's nice, isn't it? Isn't that lovely? And uh, this is absolutely so cute. Look at that. I'll try and show you that with the webcam and this light because it's difficult to run. Yeah. So this lovely tin, oh we've not, we haven't got enough light, have we? I wanted to show you some new dolly. But let me show you this light first, hang on. <laughs> See that? Well obviously you can. Hang on, I want to put the light on. Right, this is this was the rose biscuits, which is really nice. But of course, I can use that as um, uh, spaghetti. You know, if I'm not, I'll ever get any. But I could, you could use that tin to put spaghetti in. That's really nice. Oops! Oh dear! Clever, wasn't it? Bang it down on the can for it. I think we it. Anyhow, yeah, the sauerkraut. I've not. You know, I was going to show you that this. This. This is so cute in a tin, look. Lovely. Bit big for um, Dolly. A bit, a little bit big for Dolly. Hang on. Bit big for Dolly. I can't get it up. I was going to take it out to show you, but it, it's a little bit big for Dolly. Um, teapot because dollies are like as you can see smaller there's Heidi in her new outfit <laughs> are we recording I suppose we are Heidi in a new outfit 
quite nice. There we are. Right, after much ado, um, as Kiona in, the, in the new, one of the new dresses, I got three new Barbie skirts yesterday. I put them in this headphone wrapper for now. And um, from the entertainer, this is going to be for Marzarel. And Heidi, I do believe, can have this. There we go. got pineapples on so those those two there was also a red metallic one which I'm going to give to Sonia what oh, is Sonia oh, let me show you the other two um, new outfits there's Lucinda in her new dress well I've had it a while but I'm going to just put it on her now I think that looks rather nice it's got cherries it's a bit long though and there's Grace, our green girl, in her new green and yellow dress. There we are. Yeah. Now, hang on, I'm going to find Sonia. Right, here's, um, here's Marzarelle. Look, this, is that, this skirt is going to be for her. Because that goes with her colour scheme. So that's her. Now here's Sonia. And she's going to have the, um, this is her in, her in the dress I've given her. Well, I thought that suited her very well. She's the, our top model, Sonia is. And uh, she's going to have the red metallic skirt. Um, yeah, this was, um, that's quite cute. It was just a leaf that I picked up in the entertainer. Where's the split? I've got some free... Because I bought those three Barbie skirts, they give I, they gave me these three superhero stickers. I'm not into superheroes at all. I don't even know who any of them are, apart from Batman. I like that. Where is she? That one there. I don't know who that is, but she looks rather cool. Uh, I'm trying to make myself sound cheerful so I don't sound as depressed and miserable as I actually feel. Because I do miss my little friend so much. Anyway, I know... You probably don't want to hear about all that, so I'm signing off now. And uh, these like this nice tin and the roses embossed on the side. Did I show you Sahara? Hang on, that's Sonia again, isn't it? Sahara in her new top with the cherries on. Goes with her skirt, which has also got a cherry theme. Which is very nice. Before, but it is now, yeah. Oh. Hi. Hi. Hello. Found my purchase. I'm in Costa and macaroni cheese. Found him on the floor and found lambs for the rest of him. Got these. Someone's playing the part of the third doctor, the brigadier. Just got one of these. I should have bought that one. I had a, to get the drink free. I should have had a large one, shouldn't I? <laughs> Never mind. Got the cinnamon on top. I got him from Boots. So cute, cute, cute. Right, what has got? It's got diamond and pools. Thank you. 
This is very nice. I got this from the co-op. Shortbread biscuits. Nice tin. Lovely. They look rather nice. So um down of course. So yeah, they look yummy. Nice picture, isn't that lovely? I love these sort of pictures. Very nice. Is that the Northern Lights, the Aurora Borealis? <laughs> that could be. These are looking jolly good, aren't they? Oh, man. I had given this outfit, this top, to, um, what's her name, the one that lives over there, um, oh, what's her name, Melanie, but I think it looks nice with this skirt on Mars around, and I've decided to give her this, so, Kirsten's got one of these, the same, it's a body, really, you know, it's, uh, like, it's one of the Mycene, what are they, it all in one. I don't think they make things like that anymore, do they? I don't know. I mean, I mean for people. Anyhow, there we go. I had an email from the um, my little friend's owners today. Uh, they'd sent it Tuesday. I didn't get it until today. She was asleep in, on the ledge in a conservatory. But um, there was meant to be two pictures. Yeah, the latest haul. Um, Oh, where are we from? Poundland? Oh, this is not Poundland. This is, um, oh, I co-op. So that we've got Costa, the co-op, Poundland, uh, Boots. Boots. And a, a sci-fi shop that's unfortunately closed. I'm sad about it. Anyhow, that's from Poundland. I might have to put it on the macro setting. These from Costa. This from Boots. Hang on. This little thing I saw hanging up in Boots, and um, I thought I've got to get him. He looks so cute. Look at that. It's a key ring. Little rabbit. Rose gold. And a fluffy pink. And then this is like a little octopus from Poundland. That's cute. Fluffy. Whoop. That nice bag from Poundland, look. Dance with unicorn, sparkle with fairies, follow the rainbow. This from Costa. I wouldn't want to. I, I wouldn't want to have a hot drink in here because I think you get the taste of the plastic coming through. But it's got that glitter that all moves around, and uh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, I got woken up early this morning by the damn neighbour next door to me joined on with the flaming music loud. And, uh, you know, I'm in such a state. Because he's not, you know, he doesn't work and he's been there all day. And, you know, he can have his, oh, as long as he doesn't start banging his drums around again. Oh, dear. Anyhow, that, that's a nice biscuit tin. Um, shortbread biscuits in the co-op. Isn't that lovely? That is lovely, that little bag. Wish it was my little cat and my little friend here, my little black cat, but not. Anyhow, um, flask from Costa, uh, Doctor Who, Further Adventure of Lucy Miller. Uh, what have I got here? Oh yeah, Doctor Who, The Legacy of Time, because it's got countermeasures, and you know I love countermeasures. That's the only reason I got this box set, was so I could get the countermeasures, the countermeasures story. Uh, the latest Torchwood, Captain Jack and Nyanto. Uh, Doctor Who, the third Doctor Adventures. This is um, someone playing Tim Trelaw, is it? And the uh, John Colshaw, because they're good impersonators and they're playing the part of the Brigadier and the third Doctor, you know, John Pertwee's Doctor. A Who fan. Whovians. Uh, soap. It was cheap in boots. This is the one I like to smell of, pink lemonade. It's got llama on it, look. It smells nice. Um, oh, Lucy Miller, um, 
box set. I wasn't ever keen on Lucy that much as a companion. I preferred Charlie, Char Charlotte Pollard, but I like the eight, I liked the pairing of the Eighth Doctor, the original, the earlier Eighth Doctor, the earlier Eighth Doctor, Paul McGann's Doctor. These, you know, I love those. I got those from Co-op. Smaller version, smaller version, and the two Lindor mint bars. Oh, I, I, I don't know when it stopped recording because, you know, it, you can't do it for too long on this low setting. So did I show all the soaps? The um, soaps I got from Boots, did I show those? I, I don't know, you see, because um, batteries go quickly in this little silver camera. That's the problem. I'm glad it's recording again. It's back to life. These nail polishes. There's a slow thumb there, poor thing. And panned on here from Poundland. I like the green glitter. Batteries on Poundland. I'm hoping that's done everything now. I don't know. We'll have to see. Right, these are the two I haven't tried. The pink one and the blue one. I think this one must be from the, ma the region of Mount Fuji because it shows Fuji-san in the picture. So, yeah. So, I like these. They're nice. And um, these two, I'm not keen on that yellow one, it makes the water orange, I can't know what it's supposed to do, but this one was quite nice, it makes it all milky, so I did show those last time, but when I was showing this blue one, I remember the camera ran out of battery or space on the memory card or whatever, but that one I'm hoping is going to be blue in the water, and I'm hoping this one's going to turn the water milky pink, I think it is, the Fuji one, Mount Fuji. Oh, I'd love to go to the top of Mount Fuji. There's a gift shop up there. There's a cafe up there. There's a post box up there. There's a vending machine up there. After you get up to the top. I don't know if it's exactly on the edge of the crater, but it's at the, the ninth level anyway. But I can't travel, so there are phobias. Anyhow, there we go. That's... Sorry, you did another rainy garden video today. My gazelle came with me to the rainy garden today, and this dolly, but I can't remember her name. It'll come to me, I'm sure. So here's our gazelle. Hmm. I always have trouble remembering this girl's name. I thought at one time I called her Nikita, and then I thought no, and then I called her Sukina. I think she's now Sukiro. Yeah. Oh look, Zasu and Neko, so cute. He usually goes, easily winds back, and he vibrates if he can't have him close. They're so cute. Well, here's somebody who makes an appearance every October. I wonder if he's going to work. Yes, he still lights up. Oh, that's good. Does his, his filaments still light? Yeah, they're, they're, they're going, I think. Are they? Yeah, yes, they are. There we go. <laughs> Little pumpy kid. So cute. There. Oh, here's Marzarel, Sahara, and Heidi hiding away in there. Here's Armar Lise. Who's this? This is Denise. And there's Faith. Who's that? There's Alice. Oh, and there's Lucinda hiding. <laughs> That's Lucinda there. And there's Erin. Who's this over here? There's Naomi. Next to Lumi. There's Loretta. There's Grace in her green. Lamina. Ah, Sirico, is it? Belle. Vanya. Oh, Suri. Suki. Su is it Sukino? No, it's Suki. Su Sukiro. I think that's what we decided. No, Sukino. Suki. I'll get it right in a minute. Sukiro. 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 That's it. Sukiro. Hey, Naomi. I'm missing my little friend. Right, I've got um, a large packet of them. Yeah, I've got the, these are the small ones I got from the co-op, the Lindor. You know, I like these. 
and um, there's like the mini there's like the mini versions these are the bigger ones obviously and there's these Russell 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 there's these little mini ones I've got to worry because those horrible neighbors horrible neighbours of mine, the adjoining ones, are out at the front cutting a load of stuff back and as long as they could keep to their side but the first thing he did when he moved in was peeled my Joseph Rock, I had a Joseph Rock or an Apricot Queen rowan tree and he cut it right down which he had no right to touch, it wasn't, it wasn't on his side and it was, um, it's not even right on the boundary, it's over on my side in the front and um, of course all that's happened is uh, the the sport, the wild sport that it's grafted onto is what's grown up with all the red berries. The Joseph Rock or the Apricot Queen has apricot berries and that's a cultivated variety but of course he'd be too ignorant to realise that and, and before people start saying oh well he couldn't have known well he had no damn right to touch it in the first place. You don't move into a house and then go round in, onto the pavement and start cutting back some, cutting down somebody's tree that's in the garden next door just because you don't want it there. It was graceful. Because I get fed up with the way the people who cause terrible stress to other people, everyone makes excuses for, yet the people who's, co who's made ill because of having to cope with certain types of people, no one's got any time for them if you don't go down the drink and drugs route, as I've, I've chose not to. Anyway, I don't want to get into all that again. I... The people moved into the house where my little friend used to live and they've been with a little black hat. The people on the other side, someone's moved in there and um, never see anything of them really. They seem okay, quiet, touch wood anyway. But they don't bother about the garden and it's a shame to see all the poor plants that was cultivated in the little pots. They're all just dying now. There's this, I've got these from Pound now, not these are nice. Anyhow, the lady, or the man, I can't, well, I, I just assumed it was the lady, it could have been the man, sent me an email last week, which I didn't get until Saturday. Where are we today? We're Wednesday today. It's more than three, it was the 6th of September they moved and my little friend was taken away. And um, it's the 2nd of October today. So anyhow, last Tuesday, they did take a photograph of her lying on a windowsill in a conservatory next to a plant pot. These are from Poundland, by the way. And they sent it to me, but they, they supposed to have sent, they said they sent two, one saying hello, which I never got. So I only got one picture and it was from Google Mail. So I don't know whether maybe she doesn't know how to put the attachments in properly, if it's more than one. And um, so I sent back and I said, oh, you said there were two. I said, oh, I thank you so much for sending it. I said, but I only got one. And so the next day she sent another, another film, it said, and there was another blank email sent to me. So I sent back again and I said, oh, so I, so I, so I still haven't got it. I've never got anything this time. And I sent one I'd taken off her on sitting on my bed about two years ago. And I said, I thought you'd like to see. I said, here's one I took. I said, it's a bit blurry which it was, I'd put some special effects on it, and and I thought the next day that they'd, you know, write back and say, well, thank you for sending that, and um, there's, they'd try again, but I've heard nothing since, and that was last week. Um, yeah, no, it was Sunday I sent, and I've heard nothing since, and they were very quick to reply when I once I'd replied to them, so I'm hoping they haven't taken offence and think I had no right to take pictures of what they regard as their property while she was in here because they never liked her coming in but um, they knew she did come in here and I thought all that had been resolved ages ago I and after all they used to have someone else's cat a tabby go in there which the owner probably didn't even realise and it used to drive her out I've said all this before so I'm not going to say it again if anyone watches my videos regularly they will know what I'm talking about there's these nice unicorns so unicorns always welcome <laughs> because there's so much of unicorns nowadays aren't there did i say these i probably did these are from costa and i'm not in the best of 
my mindset at the best of times with um, anxiety condition and co I've got complex post-traumatic stress disorders. I don't want to go into it all, but um, it does affect people. And, you know, I try my best to overcome it. And um, these are from Costa, I think, did I say? But all this, losing my little friend and then these people joined on to me, but, you know, not nice. And... Uh, Anyhow, this tropical cocktail one is, uh, I've got a load of Sumiko Garashi things and I should deal with those in another haul because this it would be too rushed if I put them on this one. This smells lovely, this one, this one called Pink Lemonade. I like this. Let me tell you if I can... Yeah, I quite like that. It reminds me of something, oh, from way back that I can't remember, some product. I can't remember. Anyhow, look, these... This is so cute. I got that from Boots. I've probably already said. Diamante on its paws. Rose gold colour. And uh, and this is a octopus. This <laughs> is a cute little thing. I found him on the floor in Poundland. Felt sorry for it. And I, and I thought, I put it back and I thought, oh no, I'll have it. Because it's been kicked around on the floor. It was clean. I mean, I wouldn't have him otherwise but there he's cute <sighs> this one looks like it might be sort of a Christmas one with the green and the, the holly green glitter and the red and this one more unicorn sort of color with the pink and the iridescent glitter holographic here we are these I got from the co-op and this from the co-op so fed up with putting the radio on and all you hear about is Brexit, Brexit, Brexit. I'm fed up with hearing about it. It's so, it should be obvious to anyone that the, the Remainers are so determined that they're going to pull out all the stops and do anything it takes to make sure they get the decision overturned and then it never happens. I should think, how can anyone just not know that? It's so obvious. All I was unhappy about with the EU is the fact that they've got perfectly good herbal remedies taken off the market. And um, that is something that's never mentioned. That they make it all about immigration. And um, to me, it's just the fact that they've got good herbal remedies taken off the market and, because of the interference. And then when we have an army of Europe, all the people that want to remain, will they be happy about that? They'll be moaning and griping about that then. But we don't want to join that. We're not used to that. We're used to being looked after. We've got post-traumatic stress disorder now because it's traumatised us. And that's an insult to people who really have got it as a result of trauma that they've suffered ongoing throughout their childhoods. But I'm not going to get into more heavy subjects. I, I, I can't help but mention it every so often. And yeah, this bag is so lovely from Poundland. Oh, signing off now.